Xbox just added another layer to backwards compatibility by boosting frame rates for 76 more games. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. We have one big thing to go over today and that is Xbox and their backwards compatibility program. I'm sure by this point most people who have watched the 20 year anniversary special from Xbox have heard that they will be increasing resolution and frame rate for even more titles. Backwards compatibility is a feature that fans have been asking for on consoles for a while now and also a feature that Xbox has been working on for for almost six years. They announced back in 2015 that they are working on a way to make Xbox 360 games playable on the Xbox One and for the most part it has been a really great success. After Xbox managed to bring over all of the Xbox 360 games to the Xbox One, they set their sights on the original Xbox and started to bring those titles over as well. With the launch of the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series X, they now had all new platforms to support and because of the work that they put in with the Xbox One, they managed to make three generations of games available on the new console. But not only did they make all of those previous generation games available on the new generation of consoles, they also promised automatic frame rate boost for older titles that was previously locked at 30 frames. This automatic frame rate boost would be made possible using nothing but the broth the Xbox Series X, meaning that it would work exactly the same way as on PC. The better your hardware, the better your frame rate. There was only one problem with all of this, and that was the fact that although the Series X could easily boost all the games, some poorly optimized games actually lost frame rates. On PC, when something like that happens, you can easily fix it in the settings, but obviously that level of optimization is not possible on the console so Xbox decided to halt the automated program and instead roll out frame rate boost for selective titles. So far Xbox has boosted hundreds of games and as of Monday 76 more games will be added to that list. As per Polygon in addition to Auto HDR with supported displays on Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S consoles original Xbox games will get four full resolution increase on Xbox Series X and Xbox One X, a 3 times resolution increase on the Xbox Series S and a 2 times resolution increase on the Xbox One and Xbox One S. 11 more games will get 60 frames per second support thanks to the FPS boost feature introduced to the Xbox Series X earlier this year. Additionally, another 26 games that were already in the backwards compatibility process program will get an FPS boost support. In a statement Xbox said together we celebrated our passion for incredible games and proven the importance of preserving our legacy for future generations of games. Compatibility and game preservation are core to the DNA of Team Xbox and our community. So with that as you can see Xbox has worked hard to improve the experience and visuals of many of their older fan favorite games to ensure that when you go back and play them you get the best possible gaming experience there is. This is a really great program that is running and I am glad to see that so much focus is put into ensuring that games run at their best possible state but on that note this is where I'm going to end it so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe. Wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.